On this piece, I'm going to split the rim, and splitting the rim is a way of doing, it's a type of decoration um, that students often ask me to do. So um, I've got a bowl uh, thrown already. The walls are pretty even, except I've left the top, I've left this section thicker than normal. It's also really important when you're splitting a rim that your piece be centered. Um, that you don't have any wobble or uneven height or anything. I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to um, notice that where I've got my center of gravity. I'm leaning my body over the clay. Sometimes I even put the knife against my shoulder. But I'm using uh, two hands to bring this knife down in the very center of the rim here. And then I can gently lean the one edge out and the one edge in. It's important to be gentle with this, otherwise you end up uh, with uh, a cut, a cutting into your split rim. So basically what I've done is given myself two rims here. I can get a, a damp chamois in there and I can get rid of that little uh, rough edge, the scridgy that comes out there. Now sometimes people use a split rim to, uh, to do a, a, lid, a, a shelf for a lid, a ledge for a lid to sit on. Um, in this case I'm just using it as a decorative method and my piece at the end is still going to just be a bowl. What I'm going to do is, with the wheel stopped after I've compressed that rim, and make sure you check the edge as well, because I didn't really look over here at the edge, um, so I didn't realize uh, that I had a roughness. Um, I'm going to have the inside edge come straight up and the outside edge, so the inside edge is going to be the ed interior edge of the bowl, the outside edge is going to lean a little bit. You can also often get away with doing a little bit more of a pull underneath your split rim um, if you've left yourself a little bit more clay there. So that's all I'm going to do for that surf <laughs> surface. Actually I'm going to do one more compression because uh, when I stopped my wheel I noticed a little bit of roughness over here on the interior rim. So I'm going to compress just with a little bit more pressure. See if I can get that to go away. Notice I'm using two hands because the, in, the inside hand was keeping that edge up. So I'm going to use my knife uh, to do a little bit of just pushing on that edge. To try to keep myself even and centered, I'm going to try to measure where I make these little indentations and try to do them with some regularity. And I say try because sometimes you start and I didn't put that one in as much as I intended. Um, you can do a bunch of these, you can do a few of these, you can push from the inside and the outside, you can wait till it's a little bit drier. All of these sorts of things are going to give you a different sort of surface and I'm just giving you this uh, tool, this trick of how to do it, but how, what you do with this is up to you. There's a lot of different options you have.